Hi everybody, hope you're all doing well. I have done some shopping. Yeah, I went to Space NK, things happened, products were purchased, and I ended up coming out with a bag this big. You know when they give you the big bag that some serious damage has happened. So I thought I would go through what I picked up with you because I do love a good Space NK haul myself. And some of these bits I've tried, so I'll give you my little first impressions of them. And I'm just gonna dig in. Um, one of these was a repurchase, so I'll go through that first. And I mentioned this in my products I'm throwing away video that I'd used up the mini size and I was gonna go and buy the full one. This is the Orbe Acri Beach Wave and Shine Spray. I've had this for a while or I had the mini size and I actually prefer it to the dry texturizing spray which seems to be everybody's favorite but I think this one is a little bit better for me. It's kind of a two-in-one so it has everything that the dry texturizing spray does but it also comes with a little bit more grit to it. Um, it's almost like a sea salt spray but in a dry formula so I think that's really interesting. It gives my hair a nice bit of body and I can spray this to the roots and into the ends as well and it keeps things a little bit more PC and a bit more beach wavy which I really really like. So this one was bought I have to say, Orbay, your prices are absolutely shocking. This bottle, I think, was about £40, which is just a little bit crazy to me. I do think they last quite a while, especially if you use them sparingly, but I had to repurchase it because it's one of my favourite hair products, but I will be using this very, very carefully. I think when I first got into the store, I went straight to the Diptyque section because when I fancy a bit of a splurge, I do like to go for Diptyque. I think their candles are just beautiful and I kind of like treating myself to one every now and then. And I haven't picked up one for a while, so I went for Vanilla. I think it's Vanilla or Vanille, which is probably the French way of saying it, which makes more sense. And as soon as I smelt this, I knew, I just knew I had to have it. It's Vanillary, definitely vanillary, but it's also kind of undercut with this woodiness. It smells a lot like the, I'm gonna really struggle to pronounce this, the Feu de Bois candle, which is basically their log fire candle, which is amazing, kind of strong and slightly overpowering, but still a really lovely kind of woody autumnal scent. And this kind of has that in there, but because it's cut with the vanilla and something a little bit sweeter, it's a really nice kind of one to ease you into that scent. It just smells like warm autumn nights and bonfires and all those good things that we get at this time of the year so this one I think I'm going to be burning a lot in the coming months. I'm just going to sit here and smell this now for the next 10 minutes just hold on. I picked up a skincare product that I've been thinking about getting for a while. It's from Sarah Chapman and they are one of my favourite skincare brands. I love the Intense Hydrating Booster, I love the cleanser and the Overnight Facial is one that I use quite often and this is actually the morning facial so it's the morning version of that one which is kind of an overnight oil kind of serum hybrid and this is very similar actually but it's a lot more kind of thin, lightweight and it definitely sinks in a lot better. I was kind of worried about this not working well underneath makeup and just leaving my skin a bit oily for the rest of the day but actually once you put this on and then you put your normal moisturizer on top it just feels like it's completely gone it's sunk in but your skin it just feels so plumped and hydrated and just super moisturized super glowy I find that that's the effect you get with every Sarah Chapman product it just makes your skin look so dewy and lovely and fresh I've also had a few no makeup days where I've kind of put a little bit more than I probably should of this on and used it as just a really hydrating really kind of nice little treat for my skin so when I'm just around the house and I'm not doing anything or going anywhere I just put a thick layer of this on and it really keeps my skin nice and hydrated and I do find that throughout the day when I'm not wearing makeup my skin gets very very dry so this kind of helps to balance that out and compensate for the really dry weather we have at the moment there's a motorbike going past I really really do think it's a great one especially if you have dry skin like I do for people with oily skin, obviously, I think this is probably one to avoid just because it is an oil. Although I am a big advocate of putting oils into skin, whether you have oily skin or dry skin, I think adding oil is never a bad thing. So I'm glad I picked this one up and I think this is going to be a bit of an autumn winter skincare essential. And then I have a few makeup bits. And this first one, I feel like I just need to do a little bit of context. We need to talk a bit about this because even purchasing this myself, I had a bit of a what am I doing? Am I going crazy moment? And um, this is the Shantikai Just Skin Tint and Moisturiser. This is probably one of those makeup products that I have wanted forever, for years and years, just such a long time. And I've always been put off by the price. This thing is ridiculous. I think it's about 50, maybe even 60 pounds now. And it's a tint and moisturiser basically. So that kind of makes me a little bit sad. But I was clearly in one of the spendiest moods of my life and decided to finally bite the bullet and go for it. And I'm kind of incredibly glad I did. Everybody I've ever seen talk about this has raved about it. And I've always thought it can't be that good. It's just a tint and moisturiser. But honestly, guys, it's 
brilliant. It's absolutely amazing. I've only used it for a week so far, but I just love it. I'm thinking this is going to be a holy grail product, something that I never ever want to take off my face. It's very, very hydrating and very moisturising, but at the same time it doesn't leave a stickiness on your skin, it doesn't feel tacky to the touch. I'm wearing it now and I don't have any powder on top, apart from my bronzer and my blushes, and it feels perfectly fine. If I touch my face, it's not coming off on my hand, and I find that most tinted moisturisers tend to do that to me. So the fact that I can wear this and then it's really moisturising and it doesn't slide around on my face is amazing and also the coverage is really really beautiful I think you definitely need to have a good skin day to wear this although you can build it up it works really nicely at kind of being buildable and then with concealer on the top I think that's really all you need I don't have the best skin at the moment I've got some breakouts on my cheeks and quite a lot of redness and I still get away with wearing this and then just concealer I think it's really nice to just use a very light base and just conceal it in the places that you need rather than going on top with a really heavy kind of full coverage foundation and just putting it everywhere. I will persevere and carry on using this, I don't really want to stop using it because it's so good and probably do a proper review of this in about a month's time when I've really tested it out but so far I'm really really loving this, I think it's amazing. So good that I haven't actually picked up the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue which you all know is my all time favourite base. I haven't even touched it since I got this so that definitely says something. Okay tinted moisturiser ramblings aside, I also got two bits from Hourglass. The first one of these is a lip Balm, and I've seen this in store so many times, I've been super intrigued by it. it. Looks pretty confusing. So, this is the Hourglass Lip Oil, again, sticking with the theme of oils for autumn. And it kind of has this little pump applicator, and then it comes out of the top, almost looks a bit like an eye cream in the way that you would smooth this under your eyes, but don't do that. But I actually really like the applicator, it works really nicely. So, you just pump out a tiny little bit. You only need a very small amount of this because it's very intense and very hydrating. It doesn't actually feel particularly oily, it almost feels quite balmy and gel like in the way that a kind of cleansing balm feels and it makes for a really nice base for lipstick as well it works really nicely underneath anything that I've put on top of it and I just really like it I've kind of been favouring this over my other lip balm favourites so the NYX Rev de Mille and the Body Shop one as well I've been sticking to this one for a while and I think it's a really great one and then also from Hourglass I picked up one of their Opaque Rouge liquid lipsticks I'm a bit of a sucker for these because I love the formulas these are kind of the original liquid lipsticks so they're definitely the first kind that I tried and then every other brand under the sun brought out a version. The shade Riviera is one that I've had for ages and ages, it's probably one of my favourite reds ever but I've had it for such a long time that it's kind of dried up a little bit which is a bit of a pain so I decided to go for a new one and this is a different shade, this is the colour Raven and I kind of swatched a few colours on the back of my hand. Riviera is a very very kind of orangey red whereas this one is a pure red, it's a very kind of true pure red, it's not bluey at all, it's not particularly orangey, it's just right bang in the middle red. Not that I honestly needed any more red lip products, I should probably do a video of my red lipstick collection because it's just getting out of control. If you would like to see that, let me know. But this one I have on today, I really really like it, I think it's a very flattering red, it's a very classic kind of colour and the formula looks so pretty, I think the really matte finish of it is really nice. I actually have the lip balm underneath it which I think is a little bit of an essential or any kind of lip balm that you have to use underneath these just because they can be very 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 drying but I think the formula and the effect is just totally worth it I really like these so that is a quick little roundup of all the bits that I bought in Space and K recently I hope you enjoyed that I'm not going to be buying any makeup for a while but I do have a clothing haul coming up for you on Sunday so obviously this week was a bit of a splurgy one so look out for that and if you enjoyed this video give it a like and subscribe if you're new and I will see you all soon bye all the hauls all the hauls